Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Apple Ethel Riado. Thanks so much for your time as always reviewing with me today on another video. So today I want to review with you together on my mill slash sandal collections. Um, I had a recent video on the unboxing, so I haven't shown you the new Osman Moo I got from Max Fashion with a great discount, 70% off. I just want to show you all together with um, the Moo's and Sandals I really like and I want to recommend to you if you're interested. Without further ado, we're just going to start right into it. So the first piece I want to show you is this Chanel Sandal. Um, it has a really cute puffy and soft, I believe this is lambskin, suede type of lambskin um, and the gold tone with the dangling Chanel CC logo um, and then the same suede um, as the, the, the heel. Um, this one I actually got a couple of years back, maybe three or four years back in Paris in the summer with a random sale. It's 50% off at that time. I believe it's 300 something euro. And yeah, it's perfect for um, the summer. I will show you how it um, looks on me. Um, the color combination with the gold and then the... Uh, um, the the gold the dangling Chanel and then the the calf skin leather bottom is good and if you don't like high heel this one is perfect with a little bit heel block very comfortable so soft so you will never need to um, break kind of break it in and then yeah this is how it looks on me um, this bit is what attracts me most because it's so puffy and make your ankle look smaller and slimmer and this dangling cc logo is very cute it's um very low key and small you won't notice it um like a huge logo which is not my vibe but sometimes i like it you know girls change a lot um in the styling and all those please bear with uh, my foot um and then yeah this is how it looks on me for the first pair um of the shoes so the second pair i want to show you is this hermes popular um sandal where a lot of people have and showed on youtube for me i love love it because um i actually don't own a pair of white sandal or white high heels probably i was never thinking of i could be able to handle white but i realized it's so important for your outfit especially in the summer and also the lighter color on your foot makes at least my figure looks more flattering on the um, illusion of more uh, slimmer legs. Um, this one, I believe it's calf skin or la actually lamb skin, I think. I should do a better job on checking the material. It's very soft and I don't have to break it in. I worn it um, last week. For the first time very soft fits like a glove for me but again my feet is relatively flat as you can see it's quite flat um, so if you have a wider foot you might want to need to uh, break it in a little bit and then the heel is a cute wooden look um, block heel and then the side uh, the, the heel height is also relatively low it's um you can see the Chanel one and this one is a little bit higher than my Chanel sandal, but it's just perfect for um, for summer. This is how it looks on me. And then, yeah, it's very comfortable when you walk it in. Goes really well with any summer dress. Just very comfortable and easy to clean up. I had a little stain there earlier before I was shooting, and it's I used an alcohol um, prep pad. Um, it's just very easy to clean up, but yeah, I love this um, classic Irma sandal. I understand now why so many people love this one and they have a lot of different colors. I might consider um, other colors later on, but for now, um, I need to watch out for my budgeting. So yeah, this is the uh, Hermes sandal I want to show you. So the next pair I want to show you is actually the one, the second pair I got for the exact same piece from Gucci. Um, the first pair I love it so much, but I worn it to the extent where 
it's kind of like really you i have to let it go it can't be repaired you can tell the same here um yes i don't babysit my shoes but this one i have to say the only downside is that because of the lambskin and then the color um which is nude i don't know if you have a black uh or other darker color please let me know in the comment down below if you have the same wear and tear issue but this one it's just i believe it's the prince town mule the first um one where coochie had this prince town kind of collection the the heel is perfect the the the, the heel um height is just perfect the inside um outside is all leather so comfortable to wear it in and the bottom has like a gucci logo um very very soft and for some reason this color just makes your leg look elongated um and again it doesn't have kind of very obvious v logo um screaming google i think that's kind of like um what i love and i know it looks really creased and worn um but it's just very comfortable um um on foot when you're walking anywhere it's my best travel companion i would say and then the heel the shape it's just very flattering because sometimes a block heel would not look too flattering on you when you're wearing dress but this one the color um just makes it very kind of blending well with your um with your leg and ankle and then makes your leg look longer um when you look afar so yeah this is uh, one of my favorite mule and i've been having um it in my collection for five or six years now so the next piece i want to show you is from zara also this is the second pair i had and this one i got it on sale you can tell i haven't worn it yet it's 39 dollars but the quality and then the shape of this is just so um like it's worth every penny of this one the first pair because i worn it so much to the beach like the water um because it's not expensive so i don't really babysit it at all and then it's just so easy to wear for me i don't have any issue um wearing this i know it's a plastic one where you might have um sweaty food and it could hurt you i'm not sure but for me i don't have that problem um and it's true to size i'm a size six or five and a half this one fits me perfectly the material i believe it's uh sweet it doesn't really say i think but um but yeah i don't really mind what's the uh, material just because of the the price to be honest and then this pair it's just um looks really well um with dress with pants because of the the shape it has with the pointed toe and then the plastic color here which makes your fit looks very feminine and sexy i feel um and i feel if you want to wear like a black pair of um socks it's also working fine um and then the heel is very comfortable it's a block heel and it's not too low so yeah again it's perfect with dress with um jeans i really like it i don't think you can get it anymore this was from last summer i think i because i recently finally thrown away um the first pair i had because it's like wearing I, I just worn it to its life is done let's say and then um this one is really you know um um nice because it's just um very very easy to wear um and goes really well i got a lot of compliment on this one and i'm always very happy to tell them it's from zara um because this might look uh, more expensive than it actually is i guess the next pair i want to show you is this chanel mill it's one of the classic um round pointed toe with the fabric black in black color and a very low-key chanel uh, logo because of the color and then the other part and the heels are um denim material i wear this so much every single summer season 
even like fall season um it pairs we well with the uh, um with my jeans i love jeans a lot and then um dresses also personally i just love me a lot first it's so easy to just slide your foot in second i feel for mill, because you don't have a cover at the back of your heel, it does elongate your legs. Um, so that's another reason I just adore mill so much. And because it's covering your toe and then the uh, front of your foot, so you can actually wear it into fall. Like a lot of the fall um, months, I worn it. Um, so it's not just a seasonal piece. And yeah, I got this pair um, together with the uh, um, the Chanel red um, sandal I showed you before in Paris when it's on sale. I forgot the pa uh, the price for this pair of mill, but it's 50% um, off the same. And then, yeah, it is how it looks on me um, with just a very low key logo. You have to inspect it and then you will see and um this is the heel it's um good height where um it does not give me trouble or pain when i walk it in a lot i walk a lot daily um across streets subway taking the bus so yeah i'm like a heavy walker i would say um this one is perfect being three or four years but it's um it's great there are wear and tear because of the denim material but i just love it so so much um for this color combination if they have other color combination i worn it to um to death then i probably would um considering getting another um pair in the in the in a different color combination but i just love this pair so much so yeah the last one i want to show you is um a new pair everything else i showed you are not new but this is um, a new pair i um recently got from match fashion from osman um this is a brand again i like it so much it's um evening dresses and recently i noticed the shoes they have is also very unique in design and just like very elegant classic and not basic I guess that's my style now from doing YouTube. I think it's good to one, kind of watch out what I'm buying, purchasing, watch on my budget. A girl needs to um, do a budgeting, right? Um, and then also for um, the design, it's just very fun. Black suede, so soft. Oh my God, I love it. It's so soft. I love soft and feeling. I'm not sure if you can tell from... Um, my uh, phone but it's just so soft with three bows and then the pointed toe um i will show you how it looks on my foot and then the back has a very cute matte little um is that their logo i'm not sure but yeah and it's the size um 36 so again i'm a size five and a half or six um and all those shoes i had they appear to be running true to size um the chanel if you want to go half size up i would recommend um that way but it's always best to try it out for this piece it's on sale um for 70 percent off so i really got a deal it's the leather inside um but yeah this is the uh, the uh, Osman pair where I recently got, and I'm gonna show you how it um, looks on me. The bow are just so cute. Um, yeah, I just love it already on the first sign. I've never tried um, the shoes from this brand before, so. Um, a little nervous about the size but yeah looks like it fits well and it's very very cute and i like the heel because it's not too thin i would be stuck in you know subway elevator um in the city but and then the balls they are just very cute um kind of like suede looking it will have some wear and tear to feel because of the suede material so i would need to be careful not kicking my um pointed toe somewhere on the hard surfaces but yeah otherwise it's a really cute um milk with the bow 
um, I will need to wear it a couple of times to tell you if it's comfortable, if I need to break it in, but the material itself is very soft. However, I would say this is on the smaller side. So if you're interested in this brand, maybe go half or even a size up. I think it's going to work on me because the material is very soft. Um, but yeah. I can already see myself wear it with jeans with um, some black little dress. I can wear it to work without issues. Um, and yeah, so that would be all for today's video. I hope you um, find it helpful. I really, as always, appreciate your time so much for reviewing with me. Please give me a thumb up if you like this video. Let me know in the comment down below which one is your favorite. And if you have any question, if you have the same pair from my collection, please share with me. I would be more than happy to know. Thank you so much again. Stay safe. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.